Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Today I have a extra super exciting one to unbox. I am so pumped about this one and I'm going to get right in it. First, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you, channel members. And thank you, everyone that is subscribed and everyone that leaves a comment on all the videos and everyone that leaves the thumbs up. You guys are what are making this thing freaking rock and roll. But this, oh, this, when you see this box, you know it's one of the little bit nicer Kaisers. Yeah. Are you ready to get in it? And the only, my only uh, little kind of letdown was that they put a sticker over the label. But this is the Kaiser Ursa Minor. And it's model K13472 S35VN blade. And it's a Ray Laconico design. Are you ready? Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. I got this on the holiday sale from Kaiser. And I got such a good deal on it. And I'm going to share it with you guys and gals. Here it is. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Look at this. This is so cool. I have added, yeah, that's right, some titanium to the collection. Oh my goodness. Whoo, look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. It's almost too fancy to be on B's blades, right? Wrong. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm going to let you guys soak it in just like I'm soaking it in. Look at that blue anno. Wow. There's that side. Here's this side. Now check this out. This was on sale for the holiday sale from Kaiser for $100. This normally goes, oh, that is so smooth. This normally goes for $180. Bucks. Let me wipe it off. I am, oh my goodness, I'm stoked just because it looks so sweet and it feels nice already. Ooh, man, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. S35VN, there's your model number. I'm just soaking this in. Can you feel it? Huh, can you feel it? Wow, so I got this for a hundred bucks um, at Mojave Outdoor. Of course, you if you know, you know, I have 10% off discount code. And of course, I use my 10% off discount code. All right, let's get a weight on this bad boy, and then we will zip through them in less than a minute. Um, I'm going to guess, uh, I'm going to go with four. Let's see where we are. Oh, 3.96 ounces. How about that? How about that? All right, you ready? Less than a minute. Let's do it. From tip to tip, we are 7.28 inches with a really nice clip point, and you can call it the harpoon if you want. It's a S35VN with a really nice hand rubbed satin blade. It's 3.13 inches of sharpened blade length and total blade length with a blade width of 1.17 inches. Your blade stock thickness is is 137 thousandths. Your thickness behind the edge is 12 thousandths, and your Handle material is titanium, all right. Your clothes length from tip to tip is 4.15 inches. Your handle width is 1.01 and your clothes width is 1.41 inches. Your handle thickness is less than a half an inch at 0.45. Your opening method on this bad boy is gonna be a flipper and you have ceramic ball bearings in the pivot with a frame lock over here and an over, over travel stop on your frame lock and you have T8 body screws and this is a Where's it at? There it is. I knew it was on there. A Ray Laconico design. So there's your specs. Now we've already taken a pretty good look at the uh, overall appearance and the finish. I mean, the finish is just, I mean, can I say flawless? Holy moly, this thing is absolutely beautiful. But let's see how sharp it is. I have a piece of paper here. Let's, okay, here we go. Is it sharp? Its head has to be. Oh yeah, that, Oh my goodness. And did I mention this is a hollow grind? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Have some hollow grind with the titanium S35VN. I am in knife heaven right now. And by the way, so this is 180. If you go to Mojave Outdoors and use my uh, discount code, this will run you 160, uh, 162. That sounds a lot more reasonable for what you're getting here. What do you think, huh? And it cuts so nice. So let's check out the fit. It is rock solid. I mean, it's not wiggle, waggle, any direction. It is solid as a rock. How about our pocket clip? What's a pocket clip look like? Really nice pocket clip, plenty of room. And let's see, it is not a reversible pocket clip. And let's see what goes in and out of the pocket. Oh, 
just goes really nice. And you know, you guys probably just saw a clip of me doing that uh, on a pair of pants, but wow, in and out of the pocket is super nice. And the size comparisons, let's do that real quick. And before I forget, I have to remember to remain objective. I'm so excited. I'm not going to miss something. I don't want to miss something here. So what's our lockup look like? Um, I'd say our lockup's about, what, 50%? Yeah, we're about right in the middle. So we're looking good on the lockup. i got to remember not to skip this good stuff here. And there's your tip. Look at that. It's not a weak tip. Nice, strong tip. Can't have a weak tip. Am I right? And let me see, uh, I don't see any jimping anywhere. Everything is really nice and smooth and chamfered all the way around. Look at that titanium backspacer. Holy cow, is it clean. Of course, of course, you know it's going to be dead centered. All right, have we looked at enough so I could do size comparisons? Man, this is beautiful. All right, here you go. Here is the QSP Penguin widthwise. This is the titanium Penguin. This was just added to the channel. Wow, okay, here we go. This will only take a minute, but in case you have one of these, this will give you a good idea of the size of this knife. Now, is this one going to fit in the frame? Ooh, just barely. Here's the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I'm going to put these pivot to pivot. And, ooh, look at here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. what have we here? The Kaiser Towser K. And this, if you want to see the video on this, it's up on my channel. And how about this one? Really common, really popular, Spyderco Delica 4. And here's the Spyderco Para 3. How about that? Look at that. Now, as far as as far as lengthwise, you have a look. Look, the handle is really good, and look at there. You have considerably more cutting edge. What is that? About a half an inch between a quarter and a half an inch extra more over the pair of three. So that's very nice, very very nice. And here is the ever loved, the ever loved, and ever popular QSP Penguin. So if you have one of these, now you have an idea. Look at that. You have about the same cutting length on the Penguin as you do. The Ursa Minor. And what's this one here? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. The Ray Laconico Mini Gemini. Oh, yeah. I wish I had a full-size Gemini to show you. But in comparison, you can tell you can tell it's the same designer. But let's do two more, and then we'll move to the fun stuff. Here is the new Buck Highline. And if you want to go check out the video, you can. I have that one. And here is the CRKT Pilar 3. So now you have a good idea of the size of this knife. All right, now for the fun stuff. Ooh, deployment, yeah. Quick housekeeping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed because you do not want to miss what is coming up on Bee's Blades. And make sure and hit that bell button because you do want to get notified because there is something exciting about to happen on the channel. Just saying. All right, so here's your push button. Oh, I slipped. There we go. Ho, oh, ho. Nice, nice. So the push button's really nice. How about how about the old classic flipperuski, the light switch? Very nice, very very nice. Can we? Yes. Ooh, you can do the slow roll. I always like a nice slow slow roll. Yeah. Now how about how how's our action here? So a little shaky shut. It's not drop shutting, but I bet once I take this apart. I bet it'll even get a lot smoother. Put a little KPL knife pivot lube in there, and I do have a discount code for KPL knife pivot lube down in the description. Pretty much, just go check the description for things I recommend, knife maintenance. I have discount codes to Lancelot Leather, White Mountain Knives, all kinds of good stuff. That way I don't have to keep telling you every time it comes up. Left-handed, very smooth. So left-handed operation is really nice, really, really nice. And I already know there's a couple of you that are going to say, Dude, it doesn't have left hand carry. I know, I know. But you know, I carry these in my left pocket too. Now let's check out the ergos. My hand from here to here is four inches, from here to here is three and a half, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. This is what it looks like holding it in my hand. Ooh, I think it's gonna fit just fine. Oh, so snappy. There you go. Oh, nice. So I have a large hand, um, not an extra large glove, a large glove and it fits very nice. The ergos are good. They are good. The state of the ergos are good. <laughs> and look at that. Right up there at the harpoon, at the poon, my thumb just falls right into place for cutting. Oh man, this is gonna be so slicey with that hollow grind, and it is so comfortable. There's no hot spots. That pocket clip doesn't bother me at all, not at all. 
That is great. I love the Ergos. I mean, overall, this knife is not disappointing. Besides the fact that I'm super excited to have such a nice knife. It feels good. It's not slick like I thought it would be. It does have some traction somehow, some way. <laughs> but it, it feels really good. I mean... Man, I'm trying to think of something negative to say. How about this? Here we go. Doesn't have a sharpening toil. There you go. I found something. So it could you, be really careful. Maybe put some uh, some blue painter's tape right along there so you keep your, uh, your uh, plunge grind looking nice and clean. But that would be one thing that I would mention that it doesn't have that. I mean, you can choke up, but you definitely could use a, a choil there, a sharpening toil. So there, I found something. I found something to nitpick. Other than that, Oh my gosh, it is so comfortable. I love the action. The action just, it's not drop shutty. It's just, it's a different kind of smoothness. <laughs> like today is fancy day, okay? So you guys and gals, enjoy it with me. And you know, 162 bucks after the discount for this much and this nice of material and this nice of looking knife. I mean, I don't think, I don't think you can go wrong with it. The Ergos are fantastic. They fit my hand really well. I have, I have, I wouldn't say I have room left over, but I know if my hand was bigger, I would still be good because it's not going past that mark. So we're good on all that. So tell me what you think. Do you like this knife? What do you think about it? I mean, this one, I think it was released in 2016. It's still out. I mean, this is, it's, it's one that has proved itself and stood the test of time. And it is a absolutely gorgeous knife. I cannot wait to carry this knife and to use this knife Wow, I am excited. So all you remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.